clock goes left to Chase. He brings it. Milner in the way. Doesn't get the ball away. Hardman gets to it. It was knocked on though by an ambulance from Rovers. But Castleford camps on the Rovers line. Can Rovers withstand that pressure? Daryl Clark goes from Hooker. I think he's got the ball down. I said he was a danger man. Referee Mr. Fair, he doesn't need to look at the screen. From last for the Tigers. Ball's with Danny Orr. He kicks it. Ball comes backwards in the wing. Touched by Castleford Fair. And Briggs releases the party. Danny Orr's chasing him. The party just needs to pin his ears back. He uh, checks his run and then goes inside. Oh, Danny Orr. Danny Roberts is in for the try. Great play from Ellis and Rovers. Rovers have conceded some tries from attacking kicks this season. But Brown have scored one. It was good quick thinking by Kyle Briggs. Who came up with the ball. He released Tanya the party. I thought he had the pace actually. But he was sensible. He checked his run. He turned Danny Orr inside out. And that went in for the try. Rovers have settled into this game nicely. He's four points to six. We've played 11 minutes. Tanya the party. Stops all the line. He's got support with him. But uh, he can't find it. But this is good uh, good action from Rovers. Is he holding down there? Rovers get the penalty. Oh, and he's, uh, he's put the castle up and man in the bin for uh, 10 minutes as uh, Ben Fowler. And I think it's Daryl Clark. So uh, is it Daryl Clark? Not too sure. So that's certainly good news of Ellison Rovers. A foot short. Finn. Epworth. Goes outside to Saxton. He'll cut back across the field and then straighten up. Try and use that footwork. Bounces off a couple of players. He's still going, his Saxton. Up close to Briggs. Fellis misses him. Briggs escapes the tackle. Briggs is still. Kyle Briggs scores the try. Rovers take the lead. This gas off the defence looks weak on the low line. And Briggs is there. He's dropped the shoulder. I think the referee's gone to the screen. He wants to look at the grounding. But I saw him in all eyes. He's all eight is that. Rovers are in for try. Number two through Kyle Briggs. Rovers hold him up. But don't put him to ground. Fellis plays the ball. Here's Rangi Chase. Short ball to Snitch. And he offloads back to Danny R. Danny R inside. Pass off the cattle onto it. Collected by Worthington. And Worthington out of the Rovers 40. So Castleford asking questions but coming up with errors. Danny R was offside there and uh, affected the run of uh, Tommy Saxton. Spears. Here's Lockwood, Finn, Rovers again work it left, Epworth, good ball to Hardman, he releases Worthington, he's got Hardman inside him, Hardman takes the ball, Rovers in front of the try, absolutely so firm, Ian Hardman puts the ball down behind the post, and Rovers open up a decent lead here. Millington clears the uh, tackle area, here is Andy Kane, drops the shoulder, oh no, sure, he's all partner in crime, Yulby just read it and stopped him, Finn. He's got runners, he's got Epworth, gets the ball away to Worthington, who steps inside, Greg Worthington to the finish now, Rovers score again, it's four tries to one, they're absolutely destroying the Castleford Tigers here, Daryl Bell has got the game plan by one, that was great play, Johnny Epworth once more, he hasn't done much this season on Johnny Epworth, but he is stand out today, I can tell you, and Greg Worthington continues his great try scoring run for Billiston the last five minutes of the first half if Rovers could defend for five minutes they'll have a great half time position here's Clark though gets the ball away up further it goes I put the curse on for this to Rovers they've gone in for the try the referee awards the try it's that Daryl Clark he is so so dangerous Clark's a dummy half here's Danny R. Chase Shows the ball, comes back himself the other way. Gets the ball out the back door, it's speculative. It's picked up by Dixon, but it's a forward pass. Here's Chase. 
Ardman takes it well and gets away from the defenders to see an Ardman. McGoldrick just gets to him, but great work from Ian Ardman. Here's Andy Kane, Epworth, Saxton, Worthington, slips, gets back to his feet. Rovers into the castle for 20. To score first in the second half and be delightful is Johnny Gratian. Up into the Tanner Castle for Tigers. That's where they play the ball. 10 metres out. Andy Kane to Finn. Finds Briggs. Spears comes back. He'll play it. 8 metres out. Kane's a dummy half. Dickens. Finn. Gratian. Off lows to Ardman. Ardman gets it out to Saxton. Saxton goes for the corner. Referee puts it, touch just puts his flag up. This one's more though. Castle playing the ball quickly. Rovers player's got a knock there. As Cass come down this right hand side. It's Dixon. Danny Hart to Snitch. No Jones, my apologies. Rovers player still down, so Rovers defending with 12 here. Here's uh, Chase. Ball patted down from uh, Asseo's back on the field. Short ball from Clark. But Walker can't take it in. The Rovers defence does its job. And Rovers will get the ball back with a tap on the 20. Here. Close to the line. Kane goes right with Briggs. He kicks for the corner. Rovers oh. hunt it down. The ball's parried. Who did it come off? <laughs> a penalty to Castle for here, I think. Adam McGoldrick for leading with the elbow. It's a penalty to Featherston. So back to back sets for Rovers. And Lockwood drives it in. So can Rovers unlock this Castleford defence? Open the scoring in the second half. Rovers are going to have another penalty here as Castleford's discipline starts to... Tim Spears comes off. He's had a great game as ever. Matty Dale goes back on. Finney kicks the first points of the second half. 22-10 to Featherston Rovers. Finn. Passes it on to Briggs, who kicks. Bounces off a castle for a player. We might be in danger here. Briggs gets back, completes the tackle, and then Smeaton does, but Rovers have got defensive work to do here. Going a few problems there as Chase passes it along the line. Here's Massey. Rovers still a bit stretched. Ball's out, but it's ripped out. This second half. Rovers lead by 12 points. Here's Chase. Oh, close. It was one of them where they looked with the eyes, Rangi, and then gave it to the short man on the short. Here's Chase again. So he's trying everything he knows, but so far he's not been able to breach the Rovers line. Clark. Oh, comes back inside. Runs out of options. Finn gets to him. Helped out by Worthington. This is brilliant from Rovers. Here's Chase again. Dabs a kick through. Kane comes up with a ball. It's just not working for Cass. Rovers not giving him any space to play and playing a brilliant game. And then Chase, was that a tackle? Ep of kicks on the last. Good pressure from Cass. But it's caught by Lockwood, who then gets it away to Briggs, who gets it away to Smeaton. So Rovers keep the ball away. Smeaton takes the man on, cuts back inside. That'll do, being tackled there, will do. Here's Chase now. Oh, another one of them blind passes. Here's McGoldrick. They get it out to the wingman. It's a forward pass. It's a forward pass. I will cast finish the set. Balls with Chase. Dabs the kick through. Ardman. Oh, God. 
I think he might have scored the try here from the Rovers fullback. No, I think he's missed the ball, has he? He's missed the ball. Fifth and last for Castleford Tigers. Chase, long ball out to the wing and Youngquist. Is he in at the corner? The referee will have a look at the screen. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Saxton. Right, drop goal, drop goal, give it to Finney. Drop goal it is! It goes between the balls! William Finn is now the right footer! The first goal's the landing! He went with a left foot! He's kicked the drop goal! Castle need to score twice again! We're into the last seven minutes! Yubi! Oh! Gets the ball away somehow. Yubi, do you take it in? First defence, Rovers are going to get the ball back. Knock on, we're into the last two minutes. Follows the Rovers are going to go. Another tackle. Oh yes, and Sky have been here to see it. Now in the world take now. Destination simply. Rovers are going now. Here goes the altar. Here's the Rovers have got it. The knockers of the Tigers. Of the Challenge Cup, the books are there of the Challenge Cup at this far down stage. Supporters need to stay off the field. I hope they do, but this is absolutely so good. Forrester Rovers take a bow. Kyle, you're back at Villaston Rovers, the club that wants you to be here. And how was that? You're playing Super League teams and beating them. Outstanding. Kyle, undescribable. Just look at what we're here today. Just support the, the whole club, the support of the club. Just fantastic. And that is just, that's just been coming. That's just been well deserved for a matter of years. And just goes to show that we're ready for Super League and what we can, we can compete. And Kyle, I think the Rugby League has got to turn on now. And in that first half, I mean, the Super League team in Castleford, they played a proper loose forward. We didn't. We had you, we had Finney, we had Epworth on the field. Really spread the ball out and well and showed them how to play the game. Yeah, we did, yeah. We, that was his game plan. We, uh, we knew we could spread them about. We were pretty good with ball in hand and we can, we can move teams about and we stuck to our strengths. Luckily, we got decent enough, enough weather for, to do that and all and uh, it exposed them and great, fantastic. And then in the second half, we had that lead, we closed up shop, Castleford were coming down the hill, we restricted them to one try, superb defensive effort. Unbelievable, back-to-back -back efforts all the time. It, it, that took a lot out of us, but the lads just, unbelievable, the attitude today, I mean, I don't think, if I'm honest, I don't think we've hit form yet, um, until today. Uh, in, in previous games, like last week against Sheffield, we've not really hit as, as form, but today, we, 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 I knew we'd stepped up, there was a good feeling all week. And I'm just new for the fact that we're going to step up against probably one of the biggest derbies in, in rugby league. It was fantastic. Faisal Nahabo from Probies. Faisal, we uh, we only speak after big victories and big games, and uh, you know it's only the second time I've uh, seen you down here interviewed you. Can you come every week, please? Oh, I wish I could. It's a four-hour trip from Berkshire, but it was a very enjoyable trip today. Well done, Feverson. Well, you uh, you obviously sponsor through Probies. You sponsor uh, both teams. It was a dream draw for you and uh, a great game. It was a fantastic game and, you know, even for the neutral fan out there today, they would have enjoyed watching that. And I think Sky Sports chose the right game and BBC chose the wrong game and that was proven today. But well done, Featherson. They just showed that they are, in terms of on the field, a Super League team now. And uh, hopefully if things can happen off the field as well, I think they'll be there in two or three years' time. Absolutely, and I know I know probies are involved, and that's uh, that's the mission. We're all pushing, uh, we're all pushing towards Super League, and uh, well, I, I can't. It, it, would it be unfair for me to ask you? You came here as a Castleford fan, 
Do you lose a bit more of a Featherstone fan? Oh, well, you know, uh, I am a Cosford fan and you wouldn't expect any fan to change its allegiances because of business. Cosford uh, have been very good to me. Um, having said that, I have responsibilities now, obviously being part of the strategic board at uh, Featherstone Rovers. Uh, I think uh, the club's got a fantastic owner, it's got great management. The appointment of the CEO, Craig Poskett, is number one. I said that it was a massive mistake for Castleford um, to have let him go um, for whatever reason. And uh, Craig done a, is doing a fantastic job and we're going to back it and support as, as much as we can. And I think uh, they deserve to go up just from their performances last year, never mind what they've done today. And I really do believe they will enter Super League. I really do think they're going to get it right. They've got their head screwed on at this club from players, from the coach, from the senior management to the officials. I think they're, they're, it, things look good. Mark Hamill, chairman of uh, Featherstone Rose, we, uh, we spoke about what the future could be at the start of the season. You said you wanted to see this ground full. Um, it wasn't quite full, but it was a good crowd and to beat a Super League team, unbelievable. Oh, absolutely amazing. Just, but the atmosphere was just absolutely electric. And the, it doesn't matter if there's 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 in this ground or 2,000. The, the Featherstone fans just create a, a fantastic atmosphere, and it was just, it was just unbelievable. Uh, I just hope it came across on the TV as good as what we all obviously enjoyed it, and we just, uh, uh, can we have the draw now <laughs> for next round? <laughs> well. What do you want? I mean, uh, like, yeah, if there are 4,000 here today, maybe this will make people believe, get an home draw, maybe we'll, we'll fill the place. Well, I, I just spoke to Gary in it and he said, uh, all you want now is us at home. Uh, I'd settle for Leeds at home or Wigan or Saints. Fetch him here, we'll have a pop at him, because we can beat anybody here. We, we, we're Featherston Rovers, we're at Pulse Office Road. <laughs> Well, we, we've sent the message out. Obviously, we're on a mission, destination Super League. People have got to take up and uh, take note of that. We really mean business, don't we? we? We do mean business, and I hope everybody realises that this club just isn't sitting back on its laurels. We, every season, we say, oh, we can't, we can't be, be better than last year, but we, we went on and were better than last year. Hopefully, we haven't hit a strap this, this season. I'm a bit concerned about our performances, but I thought, well, the players are there, the quality is there, the coaching's there. It was, and I said before, I said maybe this might be the game where we just hit the straps. And thank God we did. What a win! And to beat Cass, <laughs> how good is that? How it don't get that, any dude? better than that, Martin, does it? You'll enjoy it, <laughs> I will. I, I say we will. will. Thanks, Cheers, Martin. Man. Cheers.